Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I will present you our work related to development of neural fields based SLAM algorithm for autonomous vehicle navigation. The algorithm is called MISLAM. It's efficient in terms of system memory and can represent dense maps of large scale environments. Simultaneous localization and mapping, in short, SLAM, is an essential part of autonomous robots. Its global market is expected to grow at a high pace. During the work, SLAM creates a map of the environment. At the same time, it localizes the robot on this map. For the last decade, mobile robots have been successfully implemented in many areas, including goods delivery, warehouse logistics, autonomous transport, disinfection, and agriculture. Autonomous robots are starting to work alongside humans executing tasks of increasing complexity. For example, Waymo and Starship companies use SLAM for localization of their self-driving cars and delivery robots. However, existing SLAM approaches are limited in their scalability due to growing map size in long-term robot operation. Moreover, processing such maps for localization and planning tasks leads to the increased computational resources required on board. There are two major types of uh, maps by structure produced by SLAM, dense maps and sparse maps. Sparse maps contain an insignificant amount of data about the scene. Objects on them are barely recognizable by humans. Hence, they are light-weighted, uh, they are light-weighted compared to dense maps. Contrawise, dense maps include rich information about the environment. Such maps are useful in static and dynamic object recognition semantic segmentation, and object tracking. Furthermore, they are understandable for the human perception that can facilitate the human-robot interaction area. However, memory consumption by dense maps is high, and their, and their processing involves more computational resources to load and operate within. Moreover, mobile robots have very limited resources on board. The high requirements for computational resources result in increased costs spent on data storage and other hardware, therefore enlarging uh, the overall cost of robotic solution implementation. This work is aimed to research the question of achieving low memory consumption by dense mapping in SLAM systems for large-scale environments. Existing SLAM approaches cannot satisfy such requirements simultaneously for example, Orb SLAM 3 is a scalable but sparse SLAM approach. It is a state-of-the-art method in terms of localization, but its maps are hardly understandable by human. On the other hand, Connect Fusion and Volder SLAM algorithms produce dense maps, but they require a lot of resources to store them. Moreover, Connect Fusion cannot operate in large-scale environments. I map SLAM is a novel approach that uses a neural network to implicitly represent the environment. Due to the implicit map representation, it produces dense maps with low memory consumption. However, it is able to work only in small environments. In our work, we propose a novel SLAM approach. Its main idea is the use of multiple neural networks, networks to achieve scalability. Each neural network is supposed to represent the region assigned to it. The, net, uh, the novelty is the memory-efficient algorithm that achieves scalable dense mapping with low memory consumption. Uh, and in the left image, uh, the environment is divided into four regions. The proposed LAM approach performs mapping and localization, taking into account the relevant one and the moment. In the right image, you can see two intersected regions, green and purple. An independent neural network represents each one. As a result, at the bottom of the image, you can see the final global map produced by MISLAM. The map has almost invisible stitching in the intersection. The proposed approach is implemented on a mobile delivery robot, Hermes Bot. Hermes Bot is a typical robot that can benefit from the proposed approach. The robot has in summary about 300 gigabyte of disk space on board that's very few, but it must operate in large environments. MISLAM uses RealSense RGBD camera of the robot 
the camera returns RGB and depth images, which are transferred to the algorithm's input. The algorithm performs localization and mapping and creates a scalable dense map that easily fits into the robot system memory. In the work, we used RGB-based visual odometry estimation method. However, the data from other sensors can be fused to estimate odometry more precisely. That's possible because the proposed LAM approach architecture is flexible. MISLAM consists of four steps. In the first step, MISLAM calculates the odometry between the currently acquired from the camera frame and the previous one. In the second step, it combines the odometry and current frame with the joint optimization to refine both the pause and network weights. This step is equivalent to localization and mapping because the map is encoded in the neural network weights. The th third step works in parallel to the second one and performs network distribution and region tracking processes. Network distribution process adds more regions to the map, extending it, while the region tracking process watches which region must be used in joint optimization. At each time moment, only one region and corresponding neural network are involved in the joint optimization process. However, maps of the other regions that are in the camera field of view are updated, but without influence on the camera pause. Such approach provides robust post estimation and at the same time smooth region stitching. Step number four uses all regions to reconstruct the whole environment. This slide explains the joint optimization step in more detail. The main idea is to compare the received from camera data with the internal representation of the neural network and to update the camera pose and network weights based on the comparison result. Odometry is used as initial guess about the current position. According to the neural rendering technique, MISLAM cast rays through the image pixels and query the neural network for colors and densities on the rays points. Then the colors and densities are integrated along the rays and back projected into the corresponding pixels. The result is the expected RGB and depth images. L1 norm between the expected and received frames forms the loss. Using this loss, the loss by progression technique refines the pause and the network weights. In the other words, it performs localization and mapping. This slide demonstrates the architecture of each neural network. The network takes the point spatial coordinates x, y, z, applies Gaussian position embedding, passes the result through the multi-layer perceptron body, and return the values of color and density in the point. The network is low weight and fast trainable because the network is just a small multi-layer perceptron. At the same time, it has a large approximation capability because it consists of fully connected layers. We conducted three experiments to evaluate the proposed approach. The first experiment compares MISLAM accuracy uh, with the state-of-the-art SLAM methods. The experiment was conducted on two RGBD dataset, uh, and the absolute trajectory years were compared. Figure 1 presents the results. Due to IMAP offers don't provide the implementation, we reglemented it and marked as a map star. As you can see, MISLAM green bar or performs IMAP star orange bar and demonstrate stable accuracy regardless of sequence. On average, MISLAM localization accuracy is 6.6 .6 cm. Uh, MISLAM accuracy is lower than state of the art SLAM methods, however, the values are comparable. Figure 2 compares MISLAM and IMAP trajectories on the same dataset. The blue line is the real trajectory. You can see that IMAP star returns inaccurate and jerky trajectory, gray line. On the other hand, single visual odometry, green line, is smooth but doesn't converge. Finally, combining the visual odometry with the joint optimization, Miss Lam achieves more accurate and smooth trajectory, red line, comparing to IMAP star. Basically, 
This figure confirms the effect of the external odometry. The second experiment validates that MISLAM can operate in large-scale environments. A large data set was recorded to relay this. Figure 3 demonstrates that MISLAM successfully performs path tracking and mapping due to the network distribution strategy. You can see that MISLAM final trajectory, green line, is close to the real trajectory, blue line, while IMAP stub, gray line, is lost after 60% of the path. Figure 4 demonstrates the map created by MISLAM. IMAP star wasn't able to create the map because it used only one neural network. And as a result, the experiment confirms that MISLAM can operate in large environments. The third experiment compares map sizes created by MISLAM and state-of-the-art time methods. Uh, in door dataset consisted of five sequences was collected. The location and operation volume on all sequences are the same, but the operation duration varies from 30 to 150 seconds with a tap of 30 seconds. The maps created by each SLAM method were saved and compared by system memory usage. Table 1 demonstrates that MISLAM has constant map size regardless of operation time and outperforms all other methods in memory consumption in all sequences. The environment size stays the same for all sequences, and MISLAM uses only 1.9 megabytes of system memory. While Kinect Fusion has the worst behavior in short time, it becomes a problem to process its data. Figure 5 demonstrates that MISLAM requires significantly less system memory than other state-of-the-art SLAM methods, and it has the constant map size per volume regardless of the operation time. That is the best possible behavior. Moreover, Figure 6 demonstrates that reconstruction quality of MISLAM is increasing with time, despite the map stays the, uh, the same. So as a result, a scalable dense SLAM algorithm uh, with low memory consumption called MISLAM has been developed. Its accuracy, scalability, and memory consumption were validated. It uh, requires only 1.9 megabyte of system memory per 57 cubic meters and or performs all other state-of-the-art SLAM methods in uh, terms of system memory consumption. It is important that uh, its memory consumption doesn't depend on the operation time. Uh, however, um, uh, classical SLAM methods uh, like Orson2 uh, have highest accuracy. And uh, regarding the future possible research, um, it can be conducted to improve um, the results in terms of localization accuracy. Um, for example, uh, the research on the development of loop closure optimization for such SLAM algorithm based on the implicit mapping can be conducted. And moreover, MISLAM can be extended to more difficult conditions as uh, such as cities, streets, and so on, and to other sensors like lighters. Thank you for attention.